an advancement in the technology that we hadn't seen up until this point in time, and that is the release of Lofted from space. And there it is. This is a replay of the Lofted return vehicle, the inflatable decelerator separating from the Centaur upper stage, falling back down to planet Earth. A little bit uh, looks like somewhere over the Middle East, maybe the Mediterranean Sea. Yeah, that's the that's the inflated uh, spacecraft again. Uh, the the aeroshell looks exactly uh, exactly like we uh, hoped it would. I mean, you you commented uh, to me uh, off the air that it looks like uh, it would on the ground. Yeah, exactly. And as we look at it, it's important to point out, uh, as we've just been saying, that we have both lofted and the electronic data recorder, which was ejected from the inflatable decelerator before it splashed down. Both are now down in the water, transmitting GPS location so that the recovery ship, ULA's Kahana 2, can track both them down, both of them down and pluck them out of the water and inside both the return vehicle and the data recorder is valuable data to the lofted team. And I'll just note that I did get a note from the recovery ship. They have received um, the GPS data from the ejectable data recorder, the locator beacon, and the real-time beacon. Uh, and they're currently plotting a course to the locator beacon, which is aboard the spacecraft, uh, to avoid the ejectable data recorder so that they don't uh, accidentally run over it. And there was a priority given, right, uh, on which one to pick up? Yes, yes, absolutely. The, again, the priority uh, is to get the spacecraft first uh, because there is a risk that it, it could sink and we would like to uh, recover it if at all possible. And um, then once the, the spacecraft is, is uh, recovered, uh, then proceed to the ejectable data recorder, which is designed to float uh, and can continue transmitting its position for 30 days.